The power of words. The words that you speak. Hello, can I ask you something? Have you ever seen a witch doctor that doesn't talk? Eh? Why is it that they talk? They are abusing the power God gave us. You know, if you are in the church today and you see what you are doing now, you say, these people are crazy. We, we are crazy. Yeah. But that craziness is where we have our power. We speak and we act and we receive. You go to a witch doctor, he begins to make incantation. What is he saying? He's using power of words. There are some of you here, words have ruined your life. There are some of you here, God forbid, I hope it doesn't happen, that we use words to destroy whatever you got today. It shall not be a portion. So, we need to understand the place of words in the supernatural. What is the place of words in the supernatural? Let me make it very clear. Every word you speak carries spiritual power. Even if you tell somebody, hello, how are you? It is spiritual. You call somebody, Jambu, it is spiritual. Because if they call your name over a, a, a certain thing, they are programming you already. So, the first thing you must understand, for some of you who think that you can just say anything, is that every word you speak, whether you are small or young or old, man or woman, you are speaking into the supernatural. Words are spiritual. You know, the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, you can read it on your own. Because we understand that by words, God created the heavens and the earth, everything. Let there be light, let there be this, let there be that, let there be that. And who was the person that gave names? Adam gave names when he was still a living soul. He has not been separated from God. He had the power to see God. He had the power to uh, fellowship with God. Before he fell, he was given names. God will create and say, what do I call it? Adam had the reservoir. Adam had the resources to be able to say, this should be this. This should be a dog. This should be a donkey. This should be a mule. This should be a chicken. This. Yes. Up to today, man is still using the power of war to name things. Go and ask the scientists. They say this moon is called uh, this, that. This is Venus. This is Jupiter. Who told them? Who told them? There is a name they will call you. The spirit will reject you. Your destiny will reject you. Your life will reject you. Everything will reject you. Just by name. And the often they call it, the more you are wasted. Imagine somebody wake up every morning and say, In the Epa. What's in the paper? Eh? 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 And you say, eh? In the paper, eh? In the paper, eh? In the paper, eh? Heaven say, aha! Hell say, aha! Pa! There you are. You are now a master of poverty. The day you say, I want to go to home at first to change it, you will meet obstacles. They will stop you. You will make the worst opposition. <laughs> they will say, no! We can change the other one, we will not change this one. Because something is happening. So, words carry power. Say it. Yeah, so, we, no. we, including me and you, we operate 
We navigate the supernatural by words we speak. That is where it is dangerous. There are things you will say, you can never withdraw it. No matter how you cancel it, the consequences are already waiting. Do you know that the speed with which you speak a word, a negative word, unless you have a bigger speed to counter it, it will not be cancelled. You are angry and you pronounce a curse on somebody in your anger. You better make sure that when you want to cancel it, you go to a anger that is bigger than that anger you used to cause and cancel it. Otherwise, you do not cancel. And that's where people there. You, see, you, you look at somebody, you, you curse, you curse the person, you curse, you curse, you curse. Then after you say, okay, I cancel it. It's not the same. In the spirit, there are speed. And words have velocity. They travel, everyone releases his own. When Jesus was to call Lazarus out of the grave, he didn't say, Lazarus, my friend, come out. He said, and the Bible said, he said with a loud voice, Lazarus, comfort. Why did he do that? He had to apply speed so that it will get to where it needs to get to. Some of you take words for granted. Every time you are gossiping, you are already in the spirit, supernatural. You don't know what you are doing. That's why the Bible says gossip is a sin. Slander is a sin. If you see these wicked people, all these witch doctors, they don't waste words. They are careful what they speak. Only Christians don't know what they do. They just talk. We talk anyhow. So we dilute our greatest power. The greatest weapon you have as a human being is your word you speak. Your tongue. You are able to stay in the physical and move in the spiritual and in the supernatural just by words. We navigate the supernatural. We navigate the spiritual by the power of what we say. Let me tell you, I can frame your world by words, just like God did. When I wrote my book, Raising Champions, I was talking to parents. I said, be careful how you tell your child, naughty, naughty, you naughty child. Do you go and go to the dictionary and look at what naughty is? When you see a Namibian who believes like he's civilized, he's a naughty child. That is not a compliment. It's a curse. And do you know how many times you told that child, naughty? It's a naughty boy. When he begins to act naughty, you begin to say, ah, who is, what is this? I train you to be this. No, you didn't train him. You cast him. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah, some of you receive, you receive blessings now. It's your word that the enemy will go and push your mouth so that you can say something that will cancel it. Yeah. Yeah. One friend, he knows he talks too much, so he bought a solar tape. Don't do it, eh? Otherwise, they say, Pastor said they should be putting solar tape. You know, this is Namibia. It's in West Africa, that one. He wanted to control how he talks. So he took a solar tape and put it in his mouth. I don't know whether I helped him, but he was so frustrated. Every time he gets a prophecy, before you know it, he has told 10 people. And the thing will not happen. And every time God kept telling him, you are destroying yourself by your mouth. So he didn't know what to do. He bought cello tape and put it in his mouth. And he was like, mm. Mm. He wanted to have his blessings. Now, I'm trying to, I'm telling you that because he demonstrates the sensitivity and the power of what we speak. You are in school and you are saying you will not make it. You will never make it. You are in school and you are saying, I, I don't know math, math, math. You will never know math. No matter how you try. A person who speaks negative words 
can never cease to be a failure. Nothing will stop it. Because you are provoking powers you don't see. Negative forces that are unseen but real. You are giving them job to do in your life. And they will perform it very well. In fact, let me tell you. If you are wise with your tongue, you will make it in life. If you are wise with your tongue, you will make it in life. You have a friend who talks too much. Cut off the friendship. He will, he will destroy you. It's not a friend, that one. A friend who talks too much. Cut it off. You have somebody in your family who talks too much. Make sure he doesn't know much about you. Jesus was talking to demonstrate the power of words in John 6, 63. John 6, yeah. It reads. It is the spirit who gives life. Uh -huh. The flesh profits nothing. Uh -huh. The words that I speak mm -hmm. to you are spirit mm -hmm. and their life. The words I speak, they are what? Spirit, they are life. Yes, words travel. What is prayer? Prayer is a a, 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 a machine gun of words. Drrr, drrr. That's prayer. Every time you are praying, you are in, uh, operating in the supernatural. Something says you know. Have you ever woken up one day and said, me, I will marry, and I will marry soon. You keep on saying, my friend, even if the greatest demon is standing on your way and say you will not marry, because you are saying I will marry, you will marry. My wife was telling me the story. Let me expose that today. Hallelujah. Mama, forgive me, oh. It was told in secret. Now I'm talking in the open. Hallelujah. He's already shaking head. One day he was talking. He said, She was small. Suddenly, she saw her father and her mother. They used to be darling, honey. They were playing. One day, she came out, and the father came back from somewhere where he went to work. And has brought this cane, all this, you no, know, what do they call that thing? Cane and all those things. And hid them in the corners. The moment the mother entered, the man started beating her. Beat, she was, even, she was alarmed. So she started talking to herself as a little child. I will never marry on Ovambo. I will never marry on Ovambo. Until she went to school. And after that, Isaac appeared. The word she spoke went into the supernatural and connected to Nigeria and brought somebody back. Yeah. Have you ever... Okay, you look at your family. Nobody has great wealth. You better start talking. You be, I say, I'll be the first person in my family to have great wealth. I will make it at once. I will never go to Nam Cole. Every day you wake up, in your conversation, you'll be talking. Hey, you have a mouth, weapon. That is the easiest. You don't pay for it. You don't need to go and buy it. God gave it free. You don't need to pay any pastor for you to speak the right thing. No, you don't need to pay anyone. No, you have a tongue, you have a mouth that is power inside it. The Bible says, power of life and death is in the tongue. Proverbs 18, verse 21. Proverbs 18, 21. He, he said the power of life and the power of death is in the tongue. Your tongue. The day you stop talking, you lose. Every day I keep on telling you, you say one day, I will be in my aeroplane. And I will carry all, some of you. Uh, maybe not all of you. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll carry some of you. And we're going to Israel. And, and some people think I'm joking. I am programming the heaven to make it happen. Yeah. And it must happen. I came to church. And they were driving churches from school. Remember that story? And I came one Sunday. 
and the Lord just made me push me. I went in front. I said, "We are moving. We are leaving this New York. This is our last Sunday." I had no idea where we are going. I didn't see vision. I didn't dream dream. I had no idea where we were going. But the Lord just made me speak. And I said, we are leaving this young worker for the last time. I, I don't know who were. How many people were there that day? I announced it. Imagine what a pastor would say. I announced it to the people. I did. And that was the last Sunday. Within that one week, God brought this place. Within that one week. If I didn't say it, we will never have this place. There is something you need to talk to. Do you know you can talk to your destiny and say, you will not disgrace me. Hey, hey, my destiny, you will not disgrace me. Ah, no, no, no. I will not be a failure. Mm -mm. It's not, I, no, I am born to be a success. I talk to myself that way. And I taught my children that way. Hey, I will make it. Whether my enemies are one trillion, I will make it on their heads. Or in their graves, whichever one they choose. I want you to say something to yourself. Say, you my destiny. You, my destiny. you will never die. You will never say it, say it, say it. <laughs> in Jesus. I want to say you to say something to yourself now. Say. You, my life, from now, whether you like it or not, you will never experience delay or setback. Never again, never again, never again, never, never, never. I want you to say this before you sit down. Every negative word that is pursuing me, return to sender. 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 You may be seated. Psalm 59, verse 7. Um, Psalm 59, yeah. verse 7. Yeah. Indeed, they belch with their mouth. Mm -hmm. Swords are in their lips. Eh? What is here? No, I, I put this scripture to highlight the danger of the tongue. How dangerous it is. He said their tongues are swords. And they are using it against you. Somebody wakes up in the morning. Before he talks to anybody, he will curse you. He will face your house. Say, you that is in the window. And I, 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 I curse you. You will not be better than me. I curse you. You will not be better than my... And you are sitting down. And receiving those curses. Every morning. After he finish. Then he will go and do... Eh, eh, how are you? He will just greet people. He has finished with you. Every negative tongue that is pursuing me. Backfire. 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 In Jesus. Sit down. I, I want to tell you this quick. I am rushing this, this teaching, but I want to say it. Do you know they, that every time they want which witches want to destroy you, they gossip you. Anytime COVID members want to destroy you, they put you as a topic of gossip. They begin to gossip you. They begin to gossip you. They are programming that thing to happen to you. That thing is not true, but they begin to make it real true. They, begin, they know that if they tell you, we want to cast this person, you say, I know, I, I don't curse people. I'm born again. So they, they bring you, you join them to gossip this person. As you gossip, you are programming, joining them to program evil to that person. Yeah. Gossip is an announcement of a negative form against that person. 
Gossip is an announcement in the spiritual that this is what will happen to you. That's why gossip, you don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You will be taking part in destroying somebody else. Yeah. You see, their tongues are like what? Swords. Eh, read for me. Indeed, they belch with their mouth. Uh -huh. Swords are in their lips. Uh -huh. For they say, who hears? Who hears? Yeah. Today they shall hear. Psalm 18. Quickly, rush. I will give you an example. Psalm 18, verse 6 to 8. And Matthew 12, verse 37. Psalm 18, 6 to 8. Matthew 12, 37. Psalm 18, verse 6, 6 to 8. To 8. Uh -huh. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from the temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. Jacob. Then, how did you cry trouble? Can you tell us the, the church? You just read it now. How did it type travel? Did, did it travel? Did you give it transport? Did you buy ticket from your airline? Or did you do telepathy? But you just say, Ima, I cry, and God had you. Where is God? Supernatural. Eh? Do you understand that scripture? Yeah. Eh. Every time you wake up or open your mouth or say, my friend, do you know that some people they will make you to talk things in the dream that you don't remember? When you wake up, the first thing you must do say, everything I said in the dream that I don't remember, I reverse. Everything that is wicked, everything that is negative, everything that is bad that I said against anyone, against myself in the dream, and I don't remember, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse. You pray five minutes, then you are okay with anger. Uh -huh. What are you reading? Psalm 18, verse 6 to 7. Yeah. In my distress, I called upon the Lord mm -hmm. and cried out to my God. Mm -hmm. He heard my voice mm -hmm. from his temple, mm -hmm. and my cry came before him, mm -hmm. even to his ears. Mm -hmm. Then the earth shook eh? and trembled. Eh? The earth shook and trembled. Why? The that word you spoke went and provoked supernaturally an earthquake. From today, every prayer you ever prayed in your life, crying to God in sincerity he shall provoke earthquake against your enemies he shall provoke earthquake against your enemies in the name of Jesus I'm speaking to somebody here never again never again shall you speak and God will not hear If you are in this service today, every prayer you pray that is hanging in the air, they are now breaking through. 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 In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Then the earth shook and trembled. Mm -hmm. The foundations of the hills also quick mm -hmm. and were shaking mm -hmm. because he was angry. Mm -hmm. Smoke went up from his nose and devouring from fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. From today, I speak to somebody. That anger of Jehovah that your enemies cannot withstand, it shall begin now. It shall begin now. It shall begin now. It's a begin now. It's a begin now. It's a begin now. It's a begin now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's already started. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 12. Verse 37. For by your words you will be justified. Did you hear that? He said the word you speak 
can take you to the next level. Did you hear me? Yeah, because I'm not, we're not talking things here now. Some people are thinking, maybe, ah, I'm, yeah, no. We are not sitting here so that we can sit here forever and go home empty the way we came. No, I am talking to somebody who entered this church today. Whether this is your first time or you entered, as long as you are here, you will leave this place better than you ever be. When you are leaving this place, every level you lost, you shall take over by seven times. I want to speak to one person. Maybe it's you. That problem that makes you cry. That problem that makes you not to sleep. That problem that the enemy thinks they can use to finish you. It ends now. I say it ends now. In the name of Jesus. When you leave this church, everything that will make you great will begin to activate themselves. Activate themselves. Activate themselves. Activate themselves. Shout at them and loud. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody here, you are receiving a package already. You are going to fall now. You are going to fall now. You that person. There's a package they are delivering to you now. And in 24 hours it shall be manifest. You are a person. You are a person. I don't know who, who you are. A package that will change your life. Yeah. 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 24 hour delivery. There are two people here that applied for a job in a bank. Congratulations, you got it. <laughs> Everything about your PhD is now set. Amen. And you shall be sought after. Sought after. Sought after. Locally and internationally. Sought after. Victoria Thomas! Fire is falling on you in the house right now. That will change your destiny. If you are a member of Youth for Christ, you are about to be marked. You may not be able to stand. The word I spoke now is about to be marked on you. That word says you entered here, but when you are leaving, you shall be far better than you came. It's been marked on you. Youth for Christ. When that mark touches you, you will know. And wait for one minute. Youth for Christ. Every member of Youth for Christ. Every member of Youth for Christ. Pastor, do whatever you can do now. They are moving fast. They are moving fast. They are moving fast. They are moving fast. Are moving fast. It's everywhere now. All of them. All of them. Youth for Christ. If you ever wore that uniform, or you ever attended that meeting, or you ever registered as a member of Youth for Christ, you are being marked in any of the schools, even here in the church. You are being marked. <sighs> Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name is done. You may be seated. <clears throat> Quickly. He said, by your word, you shall be justified. And then, Ben? For by your words, you will be justified. And by your words? And by your words, you will be condemned. May you not be condemned by your words. 
say something that somebody doesn't want to hear. I say, you will never be condemned by your words. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me explain quickly. Do you know that the, you collected blessings here today? One way they can steal it is to provoke your mouth. Finish. One word from you. Bah! They have taken it. A wrong word. I decree to your life. Your tongue is not permitted to speak a wrong word. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every word that will demote your destiny shall not come out of your mouth. They shall not come out of your mouth. They shall not come out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Every word that will promote the agenda of the wicked against you shall not come out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus. 